Welcome back. We have a former state lawmaker heading to prison, another rocket engine plant being built, and how Doug Jones is going to vote on the Kavanaugh nomination. I'm Mike Morgan and we're down in Alabama. Oliver Robinson, the state legislator who pleaded guilty to accepting bribes in order to help discourage the cleaning up of North Alabama neighborhoods, is on his way to prison. Robinson said he received $375,000 overall through his nonprofit for work he did with a former Drummond Company VP and a Boston Bingham lawyer. You see, if Drummond had been found responsible for the pollution in those neighborhoods, they would have been on the hook for some expensive cleanup. AL.com's Ivana Rinkie reports that on Thursday, Robinson was sentenced to 33 months in prison. He also paid $169,000 in restitution and owes $390,000 more. Now, he pled guilty last year to conspiracy, bribery, fraud, and tax evasion. Robinson has cooperated with authorities, and this summer he testified against that former Drummond executive and former Balsh lawyer. Because of Robinson's help with those cases, prosecutors requested the judge to go easy on the sentence, and that's probably why he managed to get only 33 months. Some new rocket engines are going to be made in Huntsville, and that means a new plant for the Rocket City, reports AL.com's Lee Roop. Jeff Bezos, that's the grand poobah over at Amazon, recently started the rocket company Blue Origin. That company said it would build a plant in Huntsville if it won a contract to build BE-4 engines for the next generation of United Launch Alliance rockets. Well, it did win that contract and now there's a 400,000 square foot plant coming to Cummings Research Park. It'll be a $200 million investment that'll employ 400 workers. They're saying that groundbreaking will happen near the end of the year. The United Launch Alliance said its new Vulcan Centaur rocket will use two of those BE-4 engines at the booster stage. At the upper stage, it'll use engines made by Aerojet Rocketdyne, which also is building a plant in Huntsville. United Launch Alliance is in Decatur. They expect to put that rocket in the air for the first time in 2020. Hey, it looks like I won't have to eat my hat and jacket. That's a promise I'd been making around in the event that Senator Doug Jones, a Democrat, votes to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, or if Senator Richard Shelby, a Republican, votes against the confirmation. Thursday night, after the Senate Judiciary Committee held hearings for both Kavanaugh and the woman who accused him of sexually assaulting her when both were teenagers in 1982, Jones tweeted that he would vote no on the confirmation. He'd given little indication at any point since the nomination was made, except that he had complained numerous times that he had not been given enough information on Kavanaugh to make an informed decision and wanted the vote to be postponed after the assault accusations surfaced. He tweeted, quote, I have called for complete disclosure of all documents, subpoena Mark Judge, postpone the vote. Dr. Ford was credible and courageous. What message will we send our daughters and sons, let alone sexual assault victims? The message I will send is this, I vote no. Senator Shelby said that he found both Kavanaugh and his accuser credible during Thursday's hearings. He supported the nominee before the accusations, and if he turns at this point, well, that'll be the only mind I'm aware of that's changed either way in this whole process. According to Jacksonville State University, the JSU Strong Benefit Concert on Wednesday night raised $1.2 million toward rebuilding the university from tornado damage. On March 19th, at least 13 tornadoes swept through Alabama, and one of the strongest was an EF3 that did extensive damage to the city of Jacksonville and Jacksonville State University. The biggest blessing that day was that it was during spring break, so there were no injuries despite a couple dozen buildings taking significant damage. The band Alabama took the lead in putting together Wednesday's benefit at Burgess Snow Field at JSU Stadium. Boys from Fort Payne were joined by acts such as Shenandoah, Jamie Johnson, Charlie Daniels, Jason Isbell, John Barry, Sweet Tea Trio, Jacksonville-based Riley Green, and comedian Darren Knight. All of those but Daniels and Barry have Alabama roots. Well, thank y'all for listening. We hope to get up a weekend show sometime tomorrow. Lita Gore should be back, and we might have another reporter join us. If you enjoy pitting Alabama cities against one another, you might like it. For sure, we'll be back Monday with another daily news update. Until then, y'all have a great weekend. Come see us anytime at AL.com.